question how many are you write down like this question a triple b is a perfect square a triple b is a perfect square a and b are digits find the value of a plus b a triple b is a perfect square a and b are digits find the value of a plus b very interesting concept sir a triple b it is a perfect square step number one a perfect square never ends with two three seven or eight it is out it cannot end with zero here because it will become one triple zero or two triple zero or three triple zero a perfect square always ends with even number of zeros it cannot end with one because any perfect square ending with one tens place should be an even number should be an even number it cannot end with phi why because any perfect square ending with phi tens place is 2 15 square 225 it cannot end with 6 why because 4 square 16 6 square 36 if the unit digit is 6 tens place will be odd it cannot end with 9 why because 7 square is 49 13 square is 169 if the units place is 9 tens place it will be even only one case that is possible it is 4 so here also it will be 4 here also it will be 4 so we have to find the number which is of the form a triple 4 so take the last two digits 44 take the last two digits 44 what is the concept x square 50 plus or minus x whole square 100 plus or minus x whole square has the same last two digits x square 50 plus or minus x whole square 100 plus or minus x whole square has same last two digits what is the smallest number on square i will have 44 12 square is 144 50 minus 12 50 plus 12 100 minus 12 is 88 so 38 square is nothing but 1 triple 4 which will satisfy the condition 38 square is 1 triple 4 a plus b value is 5 i hope this is clear a triple b is a perfect square a perfect square cannot end with 2 3 7 or 8 it cannot end with zeros because there will be three odd number of zeros it cannot end with one a perfect square ending with one tens place is even any perfect square ending with five tens place is two a perfect square ending with six tens place is odd any perfect square ending with nine tens place is even all these cases are not possible with a few examples you will come to know so the only case possible is 4 4 4 4 right what is the smallest two digit number on square i'll get 44 12 square is 144 x square 50 plus or minus x whole square 100 plus or minus x whole square 12 square is 144 50 minus 12 50 plus 12 100 minus 12 so what is the smallest right two digit number on square i'll have these a triple b one triple four a plus b equivalent to five i hope this question is clear second question conceptual clarity building with problems c d c r you write down like this a a b b is a perfect square a a b b is a perfect square find the value of a plus b a a b b is a perfect square just now we have seen the only number which will have last two digit same is 44 a a 44 is a perfect square a a 44 is a perfect square are you with me a a 44 is a perfect square method one what is the smallest number on square? I will get 44 at the end. 12 square is 144. 50 minus 12. 50 plus 12. 
hundred minus twelve. This is seven seven four four. This is three eight double four. Thirty eight square is one triple four. A A B B. So answer for this question is seven plus four equivalent to eleven. Seven plus four equivalent to eleven. Eleven is the answer. Method two. Method two. Listen carefully, sir. Here. A A four four. A A four four is a perfect square. A A four four should be divisible by eleven. Why? Because sum of the odd places, sum of the odd places minus sum of the even places, sum of the odd places minus sum of the even places should be divisible by eleven. Why it is four from the previous question? Four plus a, four plus a, it is divisible by eleven. So it is divisible by eleven. So what is the what is the number that is divisible by eleven and ending with forty four? Twelve square is one forty four. Fifty minus twelve. Fifty plus twelve. Hundred minus twelve. Which number is divisible by eleven out of these three numbers? Not possible. Not possible. The only number possible is eighty-eight square. Eighty-eight square is seven seven four four. So answer is seven plus four equivalent to eleven. Seven plus four equivalent to eleven. I hope why it is clear, right? Because it is a perfect square. It cannot end with two, three, seven, or eight. It is zero, not possible. One, not possible. Five, not possible. Six, not possible. Nine, not possible. The only possibility is four. A A four four is divisible by eleven. So four plus A minus a four plus A. It should be divisible by eleven. So out of three numbers, four numbers, the lowest number is twelve square one forty four. Which number is divisible by eleven? Eighty eight is divisible by eleven. Second problem, is it clear? Third one. At the beginning of the session one, we told that we will discuss few questions. Question: A B C D is a perfect square. A B C D is a perfect square. Such that A B is a prime number. Such that A B is a prime number and C D is a prime number. C D is a prime number. How many numbers? How many values A B C D can take? Another variety. How many four-digit perfect squares are there? Where the first two digits is a prime number, and the next two digits is also a prime number, and it is a perfect square. Because it is a perfect square, D cannot take two, three, seven, or eight. D cannot take two, three, seven, or eight. And it is said that C D is a two-digit prime number. So if C D is a two-digit prime number, C D has to be an odd number. C D has to be an odd number. So because any prime number other than two, it is an odd number. So D cannot take, zero cannot take, four cannot take, six cannot take, and. What is the case? Five also it cannot take <coughs> because if D is five, then the number is divisible by. And now, if D is five, you can ask a doubt, sir. Zero five is a prime number, but beta A B C D is a perfect square. Any perfect square ending with five tends to place is two. Five also it is not possible. Five also it is not possible. I hope the idea is clear. Again, I am explaining. A B C D is a perfect square, so C D should be a prime number. C D is a two-digit prime number. Two-digit prime number because it's a prime number. C D will be an odd number. So D cannot take even values. Zero not possible. Four not possible. Six not possible. D cannot take five. If D takes five. It will become five square twenty five. Twenty five is not a prime number. I hope it is clear. So case one, case one is when d equal to one. If d equal to one, a b c d c d is a perfect square. C one is a perfect square. 
if c1 is a perfect square 0 1 1 square 1 9 square 81 right that's all two cases are only possible right 0 1 81 what are all the prime 0 1 31 21 41 51 61 71 81 91 these are all the cases of a two digit number but cd should be a perfect square cd should be a perfect square this is not possible this is not possible 0 1 and 81 1 is not a prime number 81 is also not a prime prime number d equivalent to 1 also out when d equivalent to 9 when d equivalent to 9 that means c9 should be a perfect square if c9 is a perfect square what are all the what are all the cases that is possible right c9 or c9 we will take first it is a prime number first it is a prime number i hope it is clear right or if you want me to solve it i will do i am going i think i am going little fast so i will reduce i will do one by one one by one we will solve it i hope till here it is clear right till here so what are the cases possible d is one again see here sir case one d equivalent to one if d equivalent to one c can range from 0 1 11 21 31 41 51 61 71 81 91 listen carefully what is that question a b c d is a perfect square Perf any perfect square ending with one tens place should be an even number tens place should be an even number tens place should be an even number these are all the cases 0 1 21 61 81 now cd is a prime number 81 is not a prime number 21 is not a prime number 1 is not a prime number i hope it is clear right so what is the case that we got 61 what is the smallest number 19 square is 361 50 minus 19 31 square is 961 100 minus 19 81 square which is 6561 50 plus 19 69 square which is 4761 4761 47 is a prime number 61 is also a prime number so i got a case in d equivalent to 1 what is that case we got 4761 we got again i am telling you when d equivalent to 1 d i kept to 1 c can be ranging from 0 to 9 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 c d is a prime number so 21 is not a prime number 81 is not a prime number 91 is not a prime number so what is that that case 30 any perfect square ending with 1 tens place should be even so only case that is possible is 61 i hope it is clear 